All right. Um, great talk. Really excited to see what SUSE has done and what IBM's done uh, personally. Um, I'm here today to talk uh, very briefly about Cloud Foundry on Google and specifically some best practices um, that we've seen customers use uh, to design infrastructure on GCP in a security first world. So I'm going to give you five facts in five minutes. My name is Evan Brown. I lead a team of uh, dedicated engineers at Google that build the CPI for GCE, the service broker, um, a, a nozzle for Cloud Foundry to Firehose, um, as well as a few other things. It's what we do 100% of the time. I've been involved in this project for about three years now. First best practice uh, is to isolate network control with shared VPC. So is anyone using shared VPC on GCE today? Cool. <laughs> no one is. But you will be soon. That's wonderful. Um, the idea behind shared VPC is, is fairly simple. It's to isolate uh, control of uh, networking components by separating them into different projects. Very simply, uh, this means that in project B, all of your network constructs, like uh, subnetworks, firewall rules, and routes, uh, are, uh, they exist in that context. And VMs that are deployed for foundation exist in a separate project. And this allows network operators to control the network infrastructure and the Cloud Foundry or platform operators to do their deployment in a separate project. Fact, the second is to isolate services with private load balancers. GCE supports uh, a layer four uh, TCP private load balancer uh, that we recommend using in front of services like UAA, CredHub, or Cloud Controller and GoRouter. The third fact, managed database uh, with private IP only. Cloud SQL, uh, which supports MySQL and Postgres engines, um, allows you to reserve IP addresses in your RFC 1918 space inside your subnetwork in a shared VPC. So private only connectivity to a fully managed database with failovers, automated backups, um, and customizable maintenance windows. Fourth fact, access APIs from NAT. So when you deploy a foundation and you use the service broker to provision access to Cloud ML or Cloud Vision, your application uh, deployed in a Diego cell needs to access those APIs. If they're APIs on the public internet. Typically, you would need NAT to do this. Uh, there's a checkbox called private access. So in a subnetwork inside your VPC, you enable private access and you magically have access to Google APIs, all Google APIs, including maps, um, without needing public IP addresses on your Diego cells and without needing NAT. So it's a, a nice quick way to access those services uh, with very little or zero overhead. But in the event that you do need uh, traditional NAT for outbound access, this morning we announced uh, Cloud NAT in beta today. Uh, Cloud NAT is a little bit different than what you've seen from other providers. It's not a VM-based solution. Uh, it's done at the, uh, at the network level uh, via the software-defined network that powers GCE. Um, works for GKE, works for GCE and Cloud Foundry, um, and is pretty flexible. I've got one minute left. So this is the sixth tip. I kind of messed this slide up. This should be number six. I just added it right at the last second there. Um, so the, the CPI for GCE uh, supports the multi-CPI model in Bosch. And so maybe a bit more esoteric, but if you're especially um, security focused, you can use the multi-CPI model to uh, provision multiple GCE, uh, GCP CPIs on a Bosch director and use each of those CPIs to deploy a different component to a different project. And what this allows you to do is to uh, restrict credentials or service account credentials for, say, UAA to uh, one particular project and isolate those credentials for CredHub to a different project and then yet a different project or a third project for your other uh, foundational services like the router and the cloud controller or Diego. Um, we've got several customers that use this, this model today. Uh, fair, uh, relatively recent support for multi-CPI, but um, it, it does kind of blend well with the, uh, the tight security model. So um, thanks everyone, we've had a great time here. Uh, our booth, we have a lot of socks left, so if you're in need of socks, um, please come collect some socks because I do not want to drag them back home to Seattle. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>